Oh, welcome to Enderpoint, a game that just released, and it's an early access. Alpha 1, as you can tell on the bottom of the screen, it's weirdly got peaceful music, even though apparently it's supposed to be a psychological horror, with also, I think, puzzle elements and shit like that. But hey, it looks very pretty, too, and we're gonna get right into it though, before we do. Please be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. Become a subscriber. Uh, let's get into it. Chapter 1, 2, and 3 are available, apparently. Well, relaxation room. Relax? I, I, I don't mind. Relaxing sounds fun. I mean, maybe not fun. It sounds relaxing. Also, how dare they use the impact font for the loading font. We should have just used Sans, Comic Sans. Oh, that'd be so much better. But, although I'm kidding. I, I find there's some people that really hate Comic Sans and really hate the excessive use of impact font. I, I, I don't honestly care. This is the I hate everything theme music. Maybe it was done deliberately. Or it's just a royalty for you. Okay. Huh? Just, we'll just wait, hold, hold on, wait. I'm waiting for that whistle noise. <laughs> yeah, it's that! The fucking I hate everything theme, god damn it. Weekly report, crystals of unknown substance from dimension S135 can be used to stone, store infinite amount of energy. Oh. We're in an underground cave system? Also, can I change the settings? I think the visual settings might be a little too high. I'm going to double check. I didn't... Wait, language. R Russian. Not... A hope. Hopefully it's in... Everything's in English? Okay. Borderless, yes. V-Sync. I don't know what the fuck that means. A circle? Why not just a check mark? Okay. Frame rate limit. Uh... 120. Oh god, everything's epic? No, no, I don't want epic. God damn. Okay, because I want the game to run smooth. Ah, a little better. Okay. Welcome to Test Subject. We are aware of the fact that some of our tests are causing bad psychological impact on our subjects. So before starting the test, you can relax in our restroom and clear your mind. When you're ready to begin the test, just call the elevator. Good luck, have a productive day, and keep your mind healthy. Alright, the noises sort of like are unsettling. Piss pe! Piss pe diet! Piss pe zero and piss pe! And diet... Diet cock, what? Cock and diet c I mean, like, I know... In a bunch of soups, like, you can go to, like... Bangkok and chicken is just called cock because cock is not for dicks or isn't a rewording of dick like we do How am I wording it? It's it's not English North Americans cock is dick, but in uh, Europe cock does not mean dick so that'd be like diet chicken and chicken, but you know if Translated to our language. We're just like hey, there's no diet form of cock <laughs> it's only it's a it's a meat eater diet. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm gonna end that. Um, this is gonna be the elevator, so I'm curious about the other rooms. I gotta get away from the dick jokes before I get demonetized. Ooh, hidden super secret rooms. Fucking I hate everything theme. Get out of here. This is like an Easter egg room or secret. I'm sorry, chair. I didn't mean to abuse you. Violator! For violating the chair? Escape the test chamber in the beginning. I mean, that was easy enough. I haven't violated anything yet. It's just a bunch of fucking keyboard gibberish.
binary, maybe? Everything in the vision gets dark when I zoom in, that's weird. But no, these could be maybe IP addresses, like this one is in particular. Or coordinates. And that's binary. Maybe. I can't read that. Can't read that. Wait a second. Unsuitable for human transfer? Interdimensional. Quantum energy generator. Tea, coffee, cappuccino, latte, Americano, and espresso. No cock? What? This gate is now closed. Well, I guess I'm done exploring this room. Why isn't there a wall there, though? Oh well. Okay, let's explore this. Startled me a little bit. What's in here? Because the game says to go into the elevator first. Maintenance access. The door requires level one. What is this? SCP containment breach now? And I am a test subject, so I mean, maybe it has. Uh, maybe it tributes or uh, references SCP in some ways. Oh, the cameras. Level 1. I'll come back when I have level 1. But this, I hate everything they... Hmm. The I hate everything theme song is just... I, I gotta get away from it. And this is where I came from. Alright, well, moving on. I'm going to assume the elevator will take me where it wants me to go, rather than me actually pushing buttons. Please stop the I Hate Everything theme song, though, please. There we go. Well, I don't like this already. Psychological horror. Psychological horror. I'm curious what kind of horror elements the game has. All I know about the game is, I mean, not only it has some comedy already in it. Oh, oh I could read these? Shit! No, but then the three I missed before. Can I go back? I want to read them. Apparently not. Okay. Okay, if we if I start the game all over again, or maybe at the end of the episode, I'll go back. Well, I mean, that could fuck up with my save. Chapters. We do it by chapters. When I beat the game, I'll reread what the thing said, because I didn't actually know I could read these by hitting E. There you go. I have to hold E. I'm thinking of filing a dismissal. I know it's a very complicated process, but with, with this, such a schedule, I won't last for long. The board said they would settle the issue with shortage of personnel, but so f but so far we have to build these new sections in almost two shifts. And due to the fact that we have 20 meter abyss below us, we cannot even use any building tech. And while, while all of this is even happening, because they sent all the people to build a research station in another dimension, I can't even understand why, but they obviously stopped thinking about people. Even taking that experiment with a local entanglement or something like that, the entrance to which is behind the door, I personally no longer saw those who passed through it. However, as far as I heard, the head of the board of directors oh, has long wanted to retire. Maybe his successor will change something. Huh. Alright. This is way too dark. Something popped up out of me. It would be pretty scary. And I don't know actually turning up the brightness. Do I have a flashlight or anything? Could, you, I wouldn't be able to tell on this floorboard, which I can barely see, if there's like a floor in the hole, like a hole in the floor. Prototype 101, do not enter. The gate is now closed. I don't like that. Uh oh. Shit. 
Should I run? Give me SCP vibes, man. The gate is now ready. Oh, goody. Promotion. Wait, what? I was promoted. Who's that? Why was I promoted? I had to check out the description of that of that achievement. All right. Sleeping on a bench. Okay, now how was I promoted? What? Thank you for your participation. Oh, and Quantum Wizard, get the energy manipulator gun. Yes, we get an ma energy manipulator gun. Possibly reminiscent of Half-Life and the gravity gun, but in its own special way. These rocks were clearly copy-pasted. They look like eggs. Look both ways before crossing the road. Where am I going? It's a big mushroom. Uh, I'm going to suppose this way towards the light. Always follow the light source when you have no idea where else to go. Hmm. Why does everything seem more evil than it actually is? Like, the room I was in before entering the door was evil, but it was just a portal? Now I'm in a forest, and I don't like forests. Oh, it was a fire. Yeah, I'm in a forest, but there's no inclination that there's a monster in here, but I don't trust it. Zoom in? You want me to zoom in? No, something bad will happen. <laughs> Escape! We can't make it to Earth without our portal device. Everyone is getting nervous. These idiots from the research team... These idiots from the research team think that all this is happening due to some sort of, some kind of malfunction, but to me it's obvious that they abandoned us here. He's fucking with me. Stop. I saw with my own eyes one of the security guys typing something into the portal interface and then disappearing. Anyway, I made it to the surface and grabbed some food and water with me. Hope I'll last long enough to fi- And then one in the left, right? Yeah, it's step, step, step. I made it to the surface and grabbed some food and water with me. Hope I'll last long enough to figure out how to get out of this place. If I can't get to the earth, perhaps I can use one of the rifts that we've been uh, we've seen appearing near the road and get somewhere else. Any place would be better than this. And day later. These creatures we studied back at the bunker seems to be afraid of fire. They can't get any closer than 20 meters to my camp. Okay, there are monsters in the forest. Great. They also seem to start behaving more aggressively, as if they are worried or scared of something, or someone should be careful. I saw the stabilizer activate at least five times on my walk. Uh, at first, I assumed that one of my colleagues was trying to break through the anomaly, but I saw no one at the road. The device prevents any rift from appearing when something is interacting with the anomaly. Uh... It would be harder to escape this place than I thought. Unsubscribed. Strange things keep happening. Today was one of the today one of the creatures attacked me, but I managed to get to the fire quickly. I was lucky. Then I saw even more strange things. A stabilizer beam that was there for more than 20 minutes. Something tells me I shouldn't return to the bunker. Okay. So there are things in the forest. Now the question is, why does it want me to zoom in here if there's no jump scare? Portal area. Station. Wait, what? Lord. This doesn't sound like a fucking dirt flooring stepping noise, but... Okay. So, that bench maybe is where I started? <clears throat> but station, what? In the blue. I'm so confused by this. Oh, I don't like those footsteps. There's this... I don't like it. 
It's the same footsteps, it's three steps and that's it, but still. Right now it's just ambience. Station though, we're saying one of the trees is specifically an anomaly? Or that I need to touch the blue tree? Because it's, I'm not clear, I'm clearly not at the red, I'm clearly not at the blue. But that's the road and that's the bench. So a tree that's behind the bench and a bit to the right? Or in front of the bench and a little bit to the left? I guess we're just going to have to go back to the road, but... I don't think it's safe to go back to the road after knowing that there's creatures in the forest. And we can't sprint and run, so if something were to chase me, it's either it's instant death, or as the game is called psychological horror, everything should be maybe just, it's not a survival horror, it's a psychological horror. So it's meant to only fuck with you. So... Is that something over here? Is that just a shiny tree trunk? Honestly, I... have no idea. Wait, is there something in one of these trees? Or are these pathways and I should follow it and go in a direction? I'll wander for a bit, but otherwise I feel like I'm confused and... That's just about it. I'm just confused. I don't think I'm meant to travel this far. And I get further and further and then the footsteps happen again. I don't know what I'm doing. Although, essentially, I think what the map means is wherever I've walked, I will not get attacked until I actually go outside of these maps. This map's, like, as soon as I, I, I go outside that black line, that's when it gets me. I really don't understand this. Stop! Oh, a different mushroom. Cool! Hey, seriously, what am I doing? I'm sure there's... Wood? What? A portal flash? Stop! What was that about? I blinked and then a... Like a flash. I'm questioning so much, like, is it I have to wait five minutes and wait for a portal to get out of here? Wait, what? Do I blink when I'm near a creature? That's the first time I saw a creature and it was running on the road. Over here. Finally a sign. A beam! It's Aurora Borealis, in this part of the neighborhood, in this part of the time. I gotta get me some crusty burgers. I wonder if there's still something over there. That was the that was what I needed to see. Whatever the fuck that creature was too, by the way. Aha! It's something different. It's a house. Finally, progress. Finally. I think I just had to wait for that beam of light, or I had to wait till I see a creature. I don't know. I don't care. Or... Yay! Loading. That's good news. Apparently, I think. I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Where, where did where did we end up? In a bunker. So the game does have some horror elements, like whatever that creature was. Has some good atmosphere and good immersion, and it's unique. I've not seen a game that's sort of in this same direction. It's almost like I get Half-Life vibes a little bit, like the anomaly and portals. Like if we were like instead of going to the Zen homeworld sort of thing, but it was portals not caused by the anomaly Gordon Freeman made, but sort of more comparable to Doom, like Doom and Half-Life mixed with sci-fi elements is sort of what I'm thinking. Isotope container. Keycard required. 
I'm aware of the problems of the main reactor. There'll, there'll be soon help coming from the Earth. So I'm not even on Earth. As for now, before the problem is solved, you can use these portable generators if the lights in your room suddenly turns off. I ordered more than 10, so it should be enough for everyone. Because, I mean, like, look at this. This gives me Doom 3 sort of vibes, too. Doom 3 and Half-Life... These fuses are broken? But it's... Yeah. Uniquely different game. It has the SCP, Half-Life, and Doom 3. That's what I would say is what it makes me think of. Do I get my own suit? I get my own... Are you a dead person in the suit? I thought you were... I thought I was gonna wear you. But instead it's a person, he's dead. Okay. But there's a note in here I would like to read. Oh, oh, oh. The game's very specific. These suits. Why do we all have the, uh, to use these ridiculous... I knew it! Half-Life reference! Why do we have to use these ridiculous... Half well, I mean, maybe not a Half-Life reference. When I was reading that, I was thinking of the scientist quote in Half-Life of why do we have to wear these ridiculous ties? But it says ridiculous hazard suits. When we go to the surface, I I thought we've already established that the atmosphere... It's probably not a Half-Life reference. I'm just nerding out over the, the what if it, it was a reference, but it probably wasn't. Ooh. No. That was some kind of radiation field. Clearly I should rip this out or something. It's powering this thing. What does the game want me to do? <laughs> mm. well, I honestly do not know. What if I stood in there and pushed the button? When I seal myself in and seal my fate, like, honest. Well, is this what it wanted me to do, maybe? I could fuck myself completely over if I closed it. Oh, uh, don't stand on the bodies. But why would the smoke? I'm so confused, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, I did something. Oh. I see. Sure, let's go with that. We can touch the things, but... See, look at that. That's that's good. That's good atmosphere. Look at that. Dark hallway, freckling light. It, it looks good. I like it. Invisible wall. We're going this way. Creepy, d dimly lit hallway. I don't like it, but we're going this way. This room doesn't look as spooky. Okay. Hey, Dave. I just bought some provisions for your team as you requested, and also the stuff from the photonic division. Please check the list below. Call me if something is missing. Raw frozen beef. That's a lot of that's a lot of beef. Lamb and turkey. Frozen vegetables. Why two times the amount of vegetables? Lots a lot of flour. Guess I'm making a lot of bread. Berries. Salt. Probably not even enough salt. Sugar. Need more sugar. Chocolate. Spices. Tea bags. Coffee. Well, 100 liters of drinking water. 400 cigarettes. 10 meters of wiring. 3 delta tab 10 and handheld energy manipulator. Don't know why the fuck you need the last one. Anyways, please return the gun to me as fast. Where is it? Oh. We have a mouse cursor went off the screen. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Oh. Give. That can't be it, is it? Portable energy manipulator usage. This kit includes the handheld energy manipulator, five times storage storing crystals in containers, and one times user manual. Insert the crystal container into the device. Aim the device at any energy radiation source. Pull the handle to yourself. Rice mouse. Right mouse. Not the rice mouse button. It's the right mouse button. And wait for the crystal to charge. Then release the handle. Aim the device at your target. Pull the handle. Oh, God. This is too much reading. I, I'm better at hands-on approaches. Supported energy types. Visible light. Lower power. Laser beam. Capable of cutting fragile substances such as glass. Give me the gun. 
I need to put crystals in it or something. Why can I not take? Do I need energy? No, oh, I, I still don't. Okay. Quantum wizard! Charge middle mouse button. Huh. Shoot. It's left mouse. Right mouse button to the charge and... Wait, what was it? Middle mouse button to discharge. Do I need to keep charging? Hmm. And yes, we will be facing enemies, I know that much, but we need to maybe extrapolate this this here. Maybe I'll have to turn that on so I can absorb it. No. Oh. Not taking that light. This then. Nom. Isolation field. Wavelength. Hmm, so we Charged up, okay, okay. Now what? Oh, wait. Hmm. So does it recharge up after I stole it? Energy source found. Huh. Well, I, I, uh, yeah, it does come back. Huh. Interesting. They just gotta steal this and then get in here. Huh. Interesting. Oh. But what do I shoot these things with? Does it only have to be organic? Can't destroy cam I can't destroy cameras, I can't destroy explosive barrels. Am I only dealing with organic matter by killing things with this or Oh, wait, I already broke the glass here or something? So I swear this is glass. What? Oh, wait, so the... Because they said the instructions are I could break the... Make it break the glass, but the glass is still clearly here. So I'm guessing I'm meant to destroy the glass, because I remember the instructions saying you can break fragile stuff like glass. So I'm going to just suppose I broke the glass, and this is where I'm meant to go, because all the other doors are locked. Ah, oh, diary. Is there a way for a simple cook to earn more than 15000 per month? What? That's a lot of money. What? Turns out that... I was in the middle of reading a diary. What the fuck just happened? Hello? What? Did I get captured by something while I was... What do you mean, hello there? Meet the redacted? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here. I had a nice, weird, fucking plot twist and... What should I call it? A cliffhanger? I don't know. I'm just... I'm confused. Maybe something showed up and got me. Redacted again, it reminds me of SCP Containment Breach. But I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next episode. If you have been enjoying, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.